bienvenidos amigos de YouTube, vamos a volver a los 70 porque vamos a estar hablando con una, una persona fantástica, súper simpática, carismática, divertida, vamos a estar hablando con Micaela Rose del grupo Arabesque, un grupo de los 70 que un grupo disco que la rompió en esa época de Ava, Bonnie M, vamos a estar repasando esos hermosos tiempos, así que... Willkommen, willkommen Micaela, welcome. Soy Micaela Ross de Arabesque y estoy feliz de estar hoy en la Retro Talking Mix con Lautaro. <risa> super, super, I love it, I love it. Gracias. You know, um, I read about your career, you know, it's very interesting, a lot of things, um, because in, the, in your beginnings, uh, you, you did a, a competition, you participated in a competition in the 70s, I think. And yes. I want to know about your beginnings. I want to know about that experience, you know. Yes, yes. Okay, so um, it was very, very uh, funny because when I was 15, I uh, still went to school and one day one of my um, school uh, friends came to me and said, Michaela, listen, look here, here is a competition of singing, you have to go. And I said, oh no, I'm much too shy, I can't go. But yes, he said, you have to, you have to. And um, I went to my mother because I still was very young. And yeah. she said, okay, I'm coming with you. So, and then we went first uh, to this studio people who uh, were responsible for this competition. And first, they want to hear me for sure. Yeah. And they said, okay, you can go to the studio and we uh, want to check and hear. And I said, yes, okay. And I started to sing something. And suddenly I uh, noticed that um, the people behind this uh, um, window from yeah. the studio, they were talking with my mother and making jests and though, and then they tell me, come and directly gave me a contract <laughs> wow, wow. so i said okay okay should be not that bad <laughs> and some months later this uh, a competition started yeah And I really won. <laughs> I won with a song, um, Killing Me Softly. Oh, and, yeah. and after that, um, they were managing me and presenting me to several uh, record companies. Mm -hmm. And one and a half year later, yeah. there were um, another, uh, well, yeah, question which uh, was um, given out to many uh, artists. Mm -hmm. and also management yeah. for uh, building a group by uh, Melody, der Melody der Welt, okay. which was uh, a music editor uh, company. And uh, they took me there and also uh, the girl who won one year after me, they saw us and we, um, yes, they, they loved uh, us directly yeah. <laughs> and said, okay, we, we, ta we are taking you both. But we also have a third girl from uh, another uh, uh, city and yes, we, we do a group with you. And first they wanted to do a, a group with uh, three girls and uh, a black guy, a little bit like Boney M, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But then when they saw us three acting together, they said, okay, we don't need any guy anymore. <laughs> so. The, uh, the group was born. Yeah. <laughs> This was wow. a story and I was 17 with my first contract of record. Uh, I want to know about your memories from those times. You enjoyed all, all the things that you did in those times? Um, honestly, Lautaro, mm. regard you are very young, I know. <laughs> But rega <laughs> regarding the times nowadays yeah and in my in my uh, uh, era wow we had a really good time the 70s the 80s the 90s everything still was possible okay. yeah um you you could do everything and you you get you got together you could travel you you, you could really had fun 
and um, we were all working very hard for sure so private life was very very poor for sure mm. but we knew why we did it because when you are so young and you get uh, this great opportunity to, to to travel to so many countries uh, and and also to to have such a big success yeah. which we had from the beginning especially in japan yeah. it was really amazing for us you know yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yes i enjoyed it very much <laughs> <laughs> great, great. You had a, a, a lot of success in Asia, in Asia, uh, especially in Japan, you know. Um, yes. I want to know your memories, you know, which memories do you have from, um, do you have about your uh, your travel to Japan, that tour yes. that you did? Yes. yes, so for sure it was, we were very, very, very excited before we went the first time to Japan. Yes. So, and... Uh, and in those times, um, you uh, need to fly very long. So <laughs> direct flies not really exist. <laughs> so the first time we had to take the route um, via Anchorage, Alaska. Oh, it wow. uh, took more than 24 hours. <laughs> you, uh, this was very exhausting, but we were young. It was okay. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. <laughs> when I... Uh, um, uh, came the first time uh, to Japan to Tokyo and I went out uh, of the of the airplane yeah. I smelled and I felt I know it I know this place I, mm. I, ha I have been here before it was very familiar to me yes and also you have to know that um, my my uh, origin blood mm -hmm. um, is also half Asian and the people there in Japan noticed that they didn't know why but they noticed and they also felt familiar uh, directly with our best because they they, they, they had uh, had some some feeling together you yeah know? connection <laughs> yes connection connection yeah yeah right. great wow so nice yeah. and Tell me, because I want to know when you when you um, travel to Japan, you, the the first thing that you saw, you know, the people. I want to know about that. It was really amazing because, so for me especially, I, I I'm a Sagittarius. Sagittarius need to travel and and conquer the world. <laughs> and I'm always interested in new cultures and and uh, uh, countries and everything. Yeah. And it was really amazing because. Uh, Japan is not that big, but um, Tokyo, especially the first uh, uh, city was Tokyo. Yeah. Tokyo, big, many, many people, <laughs> but um, they had places. Okay, you have the, the high houses everywhere, but suddenly there are a, a, a park or a tiny house, which is very, very um, uh, original. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you you have a, a quietness there. Uh, here on, on this side, there is um, loud trouble, everything, uh, rush hour, everything, and then yeah. on the other side, directly quiet, and you can calm down. Oh, so and this nice. this this uh, 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 yeah, this 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 balance is was so interesting for me, but also the people and the food and everything. It was everything new for us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah, yeah. Of so course. unfortunately, unfortunately, sushi was never my uh, favorite <laughs> dish. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I found other things to eat. So <laughs> no, I like it sushi. Very, very I like sweet. sushi. <laughs> yeah, many people I know. <laughs> uh, my mom uh, prefer a hamburger, but I love sushi. <laughs> uh, Then there is another member that was Sandra. That she was very popular too in, in his solitary career. Um, do you do you have do you still have contact with her? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. We we met some years ago in another country where she was performing and I was performing with my uh, renewed group Arabesque, and we have a very nice contact together. Yeah. Nice, nice. When Sandra left the group, you know, um, this is in your opinion, no? Do you feel that um, this effect has affected uh, the group? So, this is uh, a story which uh, people always think, but it's not true. Because okay. 
Sandra didn't left the group oh. in um, uh, 1970, uh, no, in 1984. Mm -hmm. uh, our producer of Arabesque noticed that the disco era was going down, the new wave was coming up. And so our success also went a little bit down and mm -hmm. he said, okay, we had a good time together, but now I'm sorry, um, I can't produce you anymore. Yeah. And in the meantime, but in the meantime, Sandra uh, met her uh, uh, future husband, Michael Cretu, yeah. who was a musician. Um, yeah. He was playing on our records in the studio and he also has been on our last tour in Japan with us. Yeah. So there they got together and it was clear that uh, he would do something with her. So this went then that great. way. Great. So this is a true story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks for that answer. But I also have, I have to show you something. Yeah. Uh, and a very rare um, vinyl, <laughs> if you know what vinyl is, <laughs> from Argentina. Oh, it is yeah. a single yeah. from Arabes, which <laughs> is um, so the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Moment. It's uh, at CA, it's, it's uh, Argentina and Lado A. Uh, Vuelo Alto peque Pequeña Mariposa. Fly Vuelo my alto. little butterfly. Sí. Lado A. Y Lado B. Lado B. El amor es tan solo un juego. <laughs> Love is just a game. <laughs> oh, you know, I always talk with DJs from Argentina, from my country, because um, always the records from here they they translate the the names of the songs. Uh, <laughs> I don't know still, why. Still, <laughs> they still do it. Yes, well, that's great. <laughs> there's a lot of examples. I have some records from Mother Talking, and it's like no brother Louis, hermano Louis, for example. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hermano Louis. <laughs> Hermano Louis, yeah, you know, it's some, a big curiosity from Argentina. <laughs> That's so funny. That's yeah, great. Yeah, so cool. great, so great. Yeah. Oh my God. So and, I would really love to come to Argentina to yeah. see. I've never been to, to these countries till now, oh, well, I think that you will love it because Argentina I is a, is so a big too. country. Buenos Aires, yeah. Buenos Aires is very similar to Europe, you know, so I oh, think that, really? uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, okay. They have a lot of uh, Paris style, you know? And, uh, ah, yeah. I see, I see. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so, no, I want to know about your new projects, if you have new staff, you know, for this uh, 2022. So, you know that we all suffered the last two years uh, because of the yeah, pandemic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, I did a very great uh, um, project together with a DJ mm -hmm. and, and um, I, I sent you the song, it, I, I did Friday night in a, yeah. a, a special oriental version. Mm -hmm. I hope you like it and maybe yeah. you will play it for the fans. Of course, of <laughs> so course. this was um, really, really a, a great project for me and uh, unfortunately um, regarding all that due to these circumstances, we couldn't promote it as well mm. as we want to yeah. because performance is still not possible in the moment again not yeah. possible so mm. world, world is in chaos now, yeah I know. You know? I know and <laughs> and always also artists have to suffer yeah <laughs> what can yeah. we do yeah I and know. we only want to bring joy to the people yeah everybody wants to have a little bit joy and a little bit light and a little bit easiness well, yeah, I know. But with with this kind of interviews, we can we can come to you. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, such an honor for me, you, you know, have this opportunity. Just connect the yeah. people with you. Uh, uh, incredible, incredible. <laughs> you know, um, well, you say uh, we are like in a a strange moment, a strange period in in our life, in our world. You know. Yeah. Um, if you want to send a message to all your fans, because I know that, uh, for example, Arabesque it is, it was and is very popular in Russia, in Ukraine, you know, in those countries. And so I want to yeah. know about your words for all your fans. So 
To be honest, my heart is bleeding. My heart mm. is really bleeding because we have fans and friends in both countries. And it's so for, for, for me, war is not understandable. War and violence. Yeah never a good choice but i'm only an artist i'm only a singer and i only can send really my 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 my, my open heart and my 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 pain but um i hope and i pray that this will end very fast mm -hmm. and that everybody can come together again and don't have to suffer too long this is really I, i'm really praying all the day all the day because mm -hmm. we have all the time i get any any um uh, notes and, and and emails and calls and it's really not 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 easy in the moment not easy yeah, yeah i know i know that I know but that. but I think I think uh, anyway we all in the whole world we we are living in a very special period hmm. uh, started the last two years and um, uh, in astrology and also in the in the spiritual uh, world they are telling us about around ten years of mm -hmm. completely uh, changes in, in, okay. in many things in many ways. And okay. all over the world not 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 only here yeah, everywhere. No. everywhere and we will feel it we everybody will feel it in 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 a special way so maybe it has to be who knows who knows who knows, who knows? but I'm, I'm really you know why why i'm really very sorry i'm very sorry for young people like you mm. especially the last two years you couldn't do nothing yeah that's true you, you only could stay at home same. And uh, they are, your use is a little bit stolen, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. In, in your age, in your age, when I remember, I went out every night, I was dancing the whole night, I was <laughs> traveling, I, I was getting together with, with friends and everything. And you need, a human being needs this, yeah? We don't want to be alone, we don't want to be separated. No, no, and of this, course. I, I guess it's not uh, that easy also, especially for young pe pe people like you. So, mm. good. Well, That's um, great. thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your words. Uh, I really appreciate it. It was very funny. I, uh, I feel that the people will love it. So, danke schön, viel, viel yeah, dank. I hope so, I hope so. <laughs> Muchas gracias y saludos. <laughs> a todos los fans, the other bit. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.